Sri Lanka is scarred. Along the island's east coast, ruins from the tsunami stand as a symbol of the long and bloody road the country has taken in the past five years. Eight workers are still building a shelter for Razadorai Kamalanathan and his new family. He lost his wife and three children during the tsunami. The house he received to replace his original home was bombed in the war soon after. Kamalanathan has a new wife and two children. But the pain remains. Rebuilding his life has proven difficult and he hasn't been able to find work. Without a job, I keep suffering mentally. God, what is this test? I lost everything in the tsunami. I lost during the war. I'm left with nothing. What does it matter if I am alive or dead? I've asked God not to allow anyone else to go through this kind of hardship. Two countries were hit by the tsunami and two different tales to tell. In Sri Lanka, the wounds of the disaster had a hard time healing after the war broke out. And these are the monuments of the pain and suffering. At the other side of the Indian Ocean, here in Aceh, Indonesia, the tsunami became the trigger for peace. A 30-year-long conflict was stopped, and the end of the violence became the key to recovery for the Achenese people. Neti Herawati and her husband Sabarudin were not together when the tsunami hit. Sabarudin was a fighter for the Free Aceh Movement, or GAM, and was hiding in the mountains. He was too far away to save their two children from the waves that hit the village. But the disaster and the peace deal that followed brought a couple back together. They have a new house and a two-year-old daughter. Finally, they feel safe. It would have been so much different without peace. My husband would still be fighting while we lost our children and other relatives during tsunami. Where was I supposed to go? The trauma would definitely become much worse. What peace means to me is indescribable. It's too much to put into words. It's just amazing. <laughs> President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono took the lead in peace moves. He admits it wasn't easy. There was a lot of resistance. I did uh, try to convince the people of Aceh, to convince GAM leadership, to convince the Indonesian parliament, to convince the Indonesian military leaders that this is the best choice in ending conflict in Aceh, to have a peaceful situation, then we can rebuild Aceh after the tsunami. A very different decision in Sri Lanka. In 2006, just one and a half years after the tsunami, a military offensive started against the Tamil Tigers. Those who suffered in the disaster found themselves caught up in the fighting. While Aceh has come a long way since the tsunami five years ago, for people in Sri Lanka, like Razadurai Kamalanathan, the healing process has only just begun. Step fasten, Al Jazeera, Patikalao, East Sri Lanka.